Everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics, fantastic tech, and science from around the world and out of this world. I'm your host, Elias, and today I have with me my co-host, Sandy. Welcome back, everybody. Great to have you here. We have the brand spanking new, hot off the factory robot by DJI, the RoboMaster EP Core. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. DJI is the world's most famous drone maker and uh, since last year it's also at least in North America now we know that they also make fantastic robots if you remember we reviewed the RoboMaster S1 last year fantastic robot for fun and education and overall steam capability loved it really cool mechanic wheels all that stuff we'll talk about it and today DJI was kind enough to send us their brand new platform the EP Core which we're here to talk about today What is it? Well, it's a robot. <laughs> uh, it's called RoboMaster EP Core. Mm -hmm. It's brand new, just came out. Even in fact, the pricing is not even, I think, decided on for North America. Uh, if you want to get more information about pricing or availability, you have to contact DJI uh, directly. Uh, it's very similar to the RoboMaster S1. Now, the RoboMaster S1 was pretty pricey. It was starting around $550. I don't know if that price is going to change. Uh, but it came with these very unique wheels. If you mm -hmm. notice, these mechanic wheels, it has all these rollers inside, and this allows fantastic omnidirectional movement for this robot. It can move left and right fluidly like this. Just a, a factor that distinguishes this robot from any other robot. Very, very, very sharp looking, very cutting edge. And speaking of cutting edge, it has uh, an intelligent controller, the latest servos, and they've done a fantastic job adapting this new rail onto the RoboMaster uh, and this, this awesome gripper mm -hmm. and robotic arm to uh, facilitate connecting additional third-party hardware um, and make this just an incredible I think, teaching tool. And that's, so, that's really what sets this one apart from the S1, is this right. one is made exclusively basically for, for STEM education in the classroom and then STEM clubs and things like that. So yeah. I liked the S1 because it was very, very engaging for students. I mean, the first time we brought it to the, any of the STEM club students, they went nuts because they, you know, there's guns on the top and they can do battles and challenges in that way. This one is less about the challenges and more about just the educational implications in general, the STEM implications. It's created, DJI's site actually says that it was created for inquiry-based learning. It was created for STEAM learning. <laughs> Problem solving, collaboration, um, critical thinking skills, all of those great STEM skills that kids need. Um, and this one is also made for all levels. It's for people who are completely novice programmers and for those who have a lot of advanced experience with programming. Um, and it's familiar programming. It's got both Scratch and um, Python programming capabilities and it can grow with the students or with your children. What a great point. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very familiar. You get a very familiar look and feel when it comes to the programming capabilities of this robot. For the last many years, all these other robots we've reviewed are using the same drag and drop visual type of programming that helps any younger person or uh, regular folks that want to get into programming to learn how to program. So yeah, it's a very good point. With school being out with uh, COVID and other things going on, right, we didn't have an opportunity to test this out with children, but uh, us being big kids, uh, we took it to the beach. It was fun, it was fun. Yeah. We used the camera to uh, capture some visuals. This thing is awesome. I mean, with with its <clears throat> with this suspension here uh, and these amazing wheels, uh, it just traversed, it's not exactly four wheel drive, but it traversed pretty easily across different terrains, so it was a lot of fun. We caught some attention too. There were some kids on the beach that were very interested in it is what we were doing. Yeah. It's so sharp. I mean, it's so it sharp. Um, it's so, kind of heavy. 
I is. noticed compared to the S1, it seems to be a little bit heavier, and I'm, I'm guessing because of some of this extra yeah. stuff on it. The extra but, hardware, uh, definitely. It's a little bit heavier. So yeah, so when we're uh, kind of racing them around, uh, it was definitely evident that the RoboMaster S1 was flying through mm -hmm. uh, the different terrain while this one was kind of, you know, it's a casually making its way <laughs> um, because of all the different hardware. Um, and so, so yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So real quick, I want to talk about <laughs> uh, the, the art of building these robots. So uh, I highly encourage uh, teaming up with your favorite person to <laughs> build it together and uh, exercise a lot of patience. Uh, I think this is the only con I would give this robot, and there's so many pluses, right? But the instructions are um, very precise, but sometimes very hard to read. Uh, I think some additional context would be nice. Uh, I always often find myself looking through the uh, manual and kind of flipping through it like I'm like on my iPad. I'm like, I changed the page and I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> I can't zoom in. So I took some pictures of some of the instructions and zoomed in manually. Um, they are a little small. They are a little very small, small yeah. type and things. So yeah. it was, you know, and, and I think it took a me, little hard to read. I was being very patient, even though I built two other RoboMasters before, S1s. With this one, I think it took me six hours to be modest yeah it took me a while um but i want to make sure i did it right uh and you know it's part of the engineering process too right building it understanding the different materials making sure that uh um you do a good job building this foundation so you can have a lot of fun later so yeah. if you had it in the classroom today how would you use it oh there's a ton of ways you can use it that's what i love so much about this one of the things that stands this one apart from the S1 is that both in the app and on the website, there are built-in lessons and challenges that you can do with the, the EP Core. Um, I think there are 18 lessons so far um, that are standards-based STEM lessons for teachers to use right away. Um, and there's also three kind of fun and quick challenges that are, are built in here. And um, there is, it's so cool. Um, one of them is actually, if you happen to have a DJI drone, you can do ground to air um, competition with it, a ground to air cooperation mission. Um, there's also a search and rescue one, and there's one called Intelligent Warehouse, which I'm excited to kind of explore those a little bit more with the next step here and see what they can do. But, Excellent. Yeah. yeah. And I saw hints and tips from DJI that they have many more expansion kits coming up for this yeah. robot that will enhance all that. Right, they'll, you can attach thermal sensors. There's yep. certainly, oh, they included with this kid, and no, it wasn't part of this particular build, uh, an infrared distance sensor. So we've seen some audio ones, but uh, this is really cool. Uh, so infrared distance sensor, and I've seen them uh, in some pictures where they position over here and so forth. I mean, right here, maybe on the robot. Um, but why not have infrared sensors on all sides and get a distance, uh, you can create some autonomous function um, by having those different sensors sending all that input into the robot, like infrared sensors, like perhaps a heat sensor, uh, and the camera. There's a lot of logic here in the camera. It has, the, you can uh, program the robot to identify different... Uh, People uh, and objects. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, and with that, again, with all that sensory input, you can uh, create the program that you're looking for to create some autonomous challenges for the classroom. Yeah, and it does that, it has facial recognition. Um, and it also has the ability to work with other RoboMasters, both That's the right. S1 and with other EP Core uh, units. And you can, it has some swarming capabilities. There are some AI games um, uh, mentioned on the website. And if we had a really cool DJI drone to test with. We could do uh, that ground to air cooperation challenge. That would be amazing. That's right. So DJI hinted that there is some capabilities to interact, um, to, have, to have some interaction going on between your uh, RoboMaster uh, EP Core or your S1 with a, a DJI drone. That's incredible. Um, I also read this will respond to voice commands. Oh, outstanding. Which is really cool. You can command, you can program it to respond it by performing a specific task based on a voice command that you give it, which is really neat. I love it. I like it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys may have already guessed, um, we love this robot. Yeah. I highly recommend <laughs> it. Uh, the, the demo here was provided to us by DJI. But our reviews are always uh, straight. Um, there is no bias here. Um, and I can tell you by, by, by uh, undisputedly, this right now is my favorite robot in the market uh, due to its um, 
expansion capabilities, cutting edge technology that they're bringing here to everybody, um, familiar look and feel, uh, as many other robots. It's relevant, right? Mm -hmm. Steam right now is so relevant. Our, our kids are will we'll bring the next generation into Mars and beyond, right? And we got to start someplace. So this is so And fantastic. the lessons and challenges that are provided and built into this are very relevant too, like the search and rescue and things like that. They're not just for fun. I mean, they're, they're actually very relevant, meaningful lessons that are going to engage students. Exactly. Uh, the two cons that I have for this robot, uh, we talked about how the instructions could be maybe uh, more digital uh, with the kit, maybe uh, videos, uh, and then the price. Uh, I know this is hot off the press. I'm a little worried about the price. Uh, yeah. With the S1, I was pretty um, specific that I felt that the, the selling price is kind of high. And you want to get this into the classroom, into the hands of children and young adults to get their interest into STEM. Um, and um, you got you to gotta find the right price point. Yeah. Cool robot. It's cool robot. <laughs> You I'm guys. excited. I mean, I, I love the, the educational implications of this one in particular. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. What a great job. Thank you, DJI, for providing this robot. And thank you, everybody, for watching Smart Robots Review. Thanks for being with us today. If you like the show, please feel free to leave us some feedback. Leave uh, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, leave a thumbs up. All that matters to the show. It helps us rank uh, so that other people can watch the show on YouTube and find it easily. So. Um, thank you. And if you have any ideas for any future shows, let us know. We'll make sure we add to the list and review those robots. Great to have you here with us today. And thank you, Sandy, for being here. Thank you for inviting me. And you guys, we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye-bye.